Hi, in this video, I'll show you how you can visualize, import and visualize an NDVI um, using the Earth Engine Python API and a QGIS. Um, we'll use a Landsat satellite image as an example, okay? So the first thing you need, you need to do as always um, is to install um, the um, Earth Engine, the Google Earth Engine plugin. Uh, by going to plugins and manage install, I have already um, installed this. If you have if you have not done so, please go ahead and do that. And once you have installed the Googlers Engine plugin, go to the Python um, icon here to open a Python uh, code editor console. Um, and next is just to open your script, your Python script, by just opening, clicking this yellow um, button here to open your your Python uh, script already from this tutorial um, and it's called ND, ND, NDVI visualization. I'll just move this a little bit up so that you'll be um, able to visualize my script here. I hope this looks better. Okay, so the first thing is uh, you import the Earth Engine um, uh, library or package and also the map uh, you know, package as part of the Earth Engine plugin that will help you access uh, the Python API version of Earth Engine and also uh, import this map um, package to display some, um, some of your outputs um, after your analysis, all right? Uh, so the next thing is we'll write uh, a function to generate NDVI, normalized difference vegetation index um, from a Landsat image. From, what is uh, NDVI? Just um, let's Google it from Encyclopedia, for example, here. So NDVI is a normalized difference vegetation index. Uh, it's a simple graphical uh, indicator that can be used to analyze remote sensing measurements, often from space platforms assessing whether or not target uh, being observed contains live green vegetation, okay? So this is an example of um, NDVI, global NDVI. Uh, so negative NDVI values, you know, approaching to one correspond to water, uh, mostly um, from minus uh, 0 0.1 to 0.1 is generally, you know, rock, sand, and pattern. Uh, so mostly vegetation cover, um, you know, has from 0.2 to, you know, 0.8. Uh, from sparse vegetation like grassland to dense vegetation um, like a, a rainforest, uh, 0 0.6, 0 0.7, and 0 0.8, okay? So overall, that's how, you know, NDVI um, index, uh, which is a transformation of different bands uh, from a satellite sensor, okay? Uh, so this is an example of NDVI for Australia. Uh, so let's go back to our, um, you know, uh, Python script. So I'm writing a function that does generate NDVI using satellite bands, in this case, Landsat 5, okay? Um, so my function is just to write a function. First, I'll write diff and declare diff and I'll name get NDVI. You can change this if you want to, it doesn't matter. That's just um, the name of your function. And then in bracket image, so the, this function takes um, image as an input, okay? And then colon, and then return. So the function um, returns um, that image and generates normalized difference. So this is an Earth Engine built-in uh, normalized difference, which will compute an NDVI or normalized difference vegetation index uh, using the near infrared, in this case, uh, band four for Landsat five, and then the red band, band three uh, in Landsat five, okay? So we have already our function written. Now the next step is just import an image. In this case, I'm not importing an image collection, but specifically I'm just choosing an image ID to import a single um, you know, image or scene, okay? So this is a Landsat 5 here. LT05 is a code for Landsat 5. Um, I'll uh, declare that uh, as uh, image one variable. And then once, so I have two things here, my function, my NDVI function here, and also my image. Now, to calculate the NDVI, I'll just combine these two, the, my NDVI function and my image. So in the next step here, to compute the NDVI, I'll just call my function here, get NDVI, and then input my um, 
Landsat 5 imagery and this will give me an NDVI image for um, a Landsat 5 um, scene here. And so once I have, you know, that, um, and I'll just create some in, in the, uh, visualization parameter for my NDVI and then display it here. So map.add layer uh, and then call my NDVI, you know, value here and then just um, also input my pr visualization parameter here and just you know, change the name into NDVI uh, when I display it here, uh, you know, so that I remember what, what that layer is, okay? So now I'm done with my um, fun uh, my script, my Python script and execute this script, right? So what I'll have is NDVI value for this specific scene will be displayed here in the map canvas shortly. And let me do something else to zoom in um, that visualization. I'll write map center object to specifically adjust the visualization with this uh, with this scene, Landsat uh, Landsat eight scene. Okay. Again, I'll execute that script. Uh, okay, so the, the reason why it was not showing up was because it was just a global display here. Um, so I was not able to look at where that was. So what I did is just kind of adjust the zoom in here to zoom into that specific Landsat 8 scene. So if you, um, you know, zoom out a little bit, you can see you have that on site. And also you can add um, a Google um, satellite or Google Maps, uh, you know, just click that and then drag it down because it's going to, you know, cover that, you know, to look at where this is, um, you know, for example, here, uh, my scene, Landsat 5 scene is just uh, in the uh, Bay Area in California, uh, North, uh, Northern California. Um, so here, I have my normalized difference vegetation index. Here's water, mostly green area, and then here's water. Um, you can just you know click and check what you you have, um, and then you can also zoom in if you're interested. So technically, that's how you uh, you know import a, um, a land like an example image here in this case Landsat five and um, write a function to calculate a normalized difference vegetation index NDVI and create some visualization parameter and display it using a Python script and also using uh, an Erzingen Python API in, in QGIS.